6, evening commuters are using San Francisco's brand new Transbay Terminal for the first time tonight. Now, KPIX 5 has learned who's paying for it, even if they never step foot inside. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. KPIX 5's Phil Mateer crunched the numbers for us. Phil? That's right. You know, the Transbay Terminal here is a new landmark in San Francisco. And as you see, the commuters are already streaming in to catch their buses to the East Bay and other parts of San Francisco. But as for who's picking up the tab for a lot of that, well, it's a little closer to us than you might imagine. Let's take a look. San Francisco's new $2 billion Transbay Terminal is big. And with its rooftop garden, it's bold. And as it turns out, very expensive to operate as well. We have a lot of janitors, a lot of security folks, a lot of building engineers. Plus, gardeners for the four-block-long rooftop park. Almost uh, 70, 80 people in total. Add in utilities and other expenses, and we're talking about roughly $25 million a year to keep the lights on, the doors open, and the place running smoothly. Making sure it's clean for the public, uh, watering, irrigation, upkeep of the uh, landscaping. The trouble is, so far this retail space at the center, which was built to help pay for the cost, is still empty. So the center is going to need about a $13 million bailout in help. And as usual, it will be the thousands of toll payers on the Bay Area's seven state bridges who will pick up the tab to the tune of $1,333 a year in subsidies for every rider on AC Transit or Muni that uses the station. Is that kind of high? Well, by transit standards, it's kind of not, really. MTC estimates that Bay Area-wide toll payers are already subsidizing bus service for AC Transit riders at about $1,500 per year per rider. Sam Trans riders? at over $2,500 a year, and riders on the South Bay's VTA, almost $3,000 a year. Look, almost nothing in transportation pays for itself. Now, Golden Gate uh, Bridge District uh, buses are supposed to be heading in here next month, but they don't really drop too many people off in this part of San Francisco. And as for Sam Trams coming up the peninsula, we've been watching them all day. They're pulling up on city streets. I guess they're saving a couple of bucks. Alan? Phil, if I'm paying a toll on a Bay Area bridge, I'm thinking, wait a minute, wh what's in this for me? What do I get out of the deal? Well, in the big picture, what you're supposed to be getting out of the deal is fewer cars ahead of you as you line up to pay for that toll. The idea is that the more people that take mass transit, whether it be buses or BART, the fewer cars there are on the road, and that's going to even things out. But I've got to tell you, Alan, at least tonight, mm. the back up to the Bay Bridge on the next block looks as bad as ever. Yeah. In San Francisco, Phil Mateer, KPIX, back to you guys. Got it. Okay, Phil, thanks.